Hey YouTube, in this video I want to talk about how are we going to predict weather during an SHTF. Stick around. Thanks. So this kind of interests me because I think as human beings we are spoiled with all the technology and Doppler radar and we can pick up our smartphones and open a weather app and there it is radar we can see the future radar uh, read the descriptions of the weather now they're not always right we know that right and if the forecasters get it wrong and they have all this sophisticated equipment what the hell are we going to do if all that disappears and I don't know I don't have the answer uh, I know a lot of folks will look at clouds and if clouds are really high uh, it means something and if they're really low it may be that moisture's coming or there's going to be moisture in the air and the, the configuration of clouds whether they're really large or they're kind of spread out and I don't know any of this so uh, I just wanted to throw it out there and I think a lot of people use animals as well to forecast weather. Um, you know, if, if animals tend to start going to higher ground or they act, uh, and I, you know, not just like livestock animals, I'm, I, and I'm sure that they, they uh, also have signals as well. Um, you know, maybe chickens stop laying eggs, uh, the animals get anxious, something big is happening. Um, and I'm not talking about like a regular thunderstorm, uh, you know, like a really big event, like a hurricane or a tornado. Uh, I think animals kind of have that instinct. Uh, I think during one of the large tsunamis that a lot of these animals headed to higher ground and, um, you know, the animals have that in instinct and intuition. Uh, and I don't know if it has something to do with the barometric pressure and uh, the barometers um, you know uh, and I know that you can have barometers that I don't know how to calibrate those either uh, I, I actually don't know much about them and the reason being is because if I want to know the weather I just usually turned on the TV used to read the newspaper uh, now you have it online and I think everybody's really spoiled but if you take that aspect away from it and all the technology if all that disappears how are you going to determine weather? And weather uh, is huge. I mean, it's how we plan our days, plan events. If you want to go outside, do a hike. If you want to do any gardening, uh, you know, if you if you know a major thunderstorm is coming and you just decide to go on a hike or do some investigation, or you want to go out at night even for uh, some some kind of uh, foraging event. I don't know guys, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not an expert in this by any means. I wanted to open up the discussion. Um, you know, I, I think besides animals, uh, you know, people, you know, like people that have arthritis, oh my knees aching, it's gonna rain. And a lot of that, a lot of that is true. Um, you know, I, I, I know that, I mean, my mother, she has problems with her knee, had a couple knee replacements done and, and she's pretty much on the money when she's her her knees start aching or she has issues with that arthritis that it usually rains but is there our bodies probably reflect different pressures and different aspects of the atmosphere but we're not that in tune with it right now um, I mean, how often do you just go up and look at the clouds and the formations and what they're doing? Everybody just kind of runs their day and really never looks up unless there's an airplane or something loud or, you know, it's just, uh, oh, it's cloudy today. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to open the discussion and I thought that uh, I would throw it out there. I haven't really done any investigation on my own. Uh, I'm probably going to search this a little more. Um, if I find anything interesting uh, before I upload this video, I may add some links in the description box. But let me know your thoughts, guys. I think uh, I think it's huge, and I'm not talking about just everyday. Well, I am talking about everyday weather, but uh, you know, we have the we have the 
we're, we're blessed right now with having a warning. Uh, you know, in many cases of uh, not necessarily tornadoes, but hurricanes, you know, people know three to four days maybe before these things are going to hit, you can prepare. But if you're, if you have no warnings of when a hurricane or a major event is coming through your area, how are you going to prepare for that? And what ways are you going to investigate or what, how, how, how are you going to deal with it? Sorry, I'm just fumbling over my words here. So, just wanted to throw it out there. I hope this video gets quite a few views because I'm really curious of what everybody thinks. And, you know, you hear these, uh, these old sayings, you know, if cows are laying down, it's going to, it's going to rain. Uh, you know, and I've seen cows lay down in the field, uh, you know, and it didn't rain. So I, I don't think everything's foolproof here, but there are signs and I think we need to be more in tune with them uh, and maybe really start taking an interest in how are we going to forecast weather during an SHTF. Thanks for your time, guys. Comments below, please. And anybody that has a lot of knowledge with weather, I'm really interested to hear what you have to say because I would like to learn um, and be better prepared and maybe I need to take notice of more of what's going on around me instead of opening up an app and watching radar um, and that's something that I need to work on okay guys as always if you're not in the preparedness you're preparing to fail appreciate your time thanks mm -hmm.